Let's take a look at how to control a motion along a path. Selecting this object, selecting this line under animation, constrain, motion paths, attach to motion path. As you probably know, your object will travel across the motion path. What if you want to control how this object travels? You want the object to stop and go again. Under the attribute editor, control A, under motion path, watch this U value. U value is changing. When it hits 100 or 1, actually, it's 100% on to the other side. So to control this value, right click on the word U value, break connection. Now your object does nothing. Control your object. Let's say it starts out at 0 right there, right click into this space, set key. Go to some other frame, like frame 30. You want to go to 50% of this path, 0.5 is 50%, and then right click, set key again. And watch this, your object will travel and then stop. Okay, you want it to hang out there for a little while, say up to frame 60. I'm not changing the value because I want it to just hang out, right click, set key again. So it stops, frame 60, and now let's go to frame 115, and by frame 115, that 100% of the path, which is 1, right click, set key. And here's the animation, it moves, stops, and then goes again. If you want to go in reverse, all of a sudden, at frame 115, let's go to frame 120, let's move it back to 80% of the path, which is 0.8. Right click, set key. And that's how you control an object on a motion path. Break the connection, and then set the keys during the attribute editor.